Bonjour à tous, privet. So welcome back again. My name is Jesse, and then in today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to read some of the most commonly used file formats in data science, right? So if you go to this website that is catalog.data.gov, you can have several data formats, several data sets, and then it comes in several formats. So it can be in CSV, can be in RDA, that is a resource description framework, can be in JSON, can be SML. So like there are several data sets. And can get it, get this data set in several formats, right? So to change it to the format you want, you can just come down here, then you select the different format that you want. Okay, so let's see how to read some of these data files, data sets, and then in their different file formats. So first of all, one of the most powerful ways of doing it is with pandas. Pandas allows support several pandas support several file formats, so you can use Pandas to read several of the file, several of the data sets. So let's see. So I have some of my files here in all the different file formats that we can think of. So it's CSV, Docs, H5, HD, HD5, JSON, and several of them. So let's see how to do that with Pandas. So DF, let's call it as DF and pd.read underscore CSV, then example file.csv. Right, that's the first method. That's one of the most commonest file formats. So df dot head is going to give us our file. Right, so this is our file that we had. Perfect. So that's the first file format. So now let's see how to read a TSV. Right, that is a tab separated file. So this is an example of a tab separated file. So it's just although it has been saved in TST, but this is a tab separated. Instead of it being comma, it is with tab. Right, tab. Or white spacing. So let's see how to read it. So it's going to be df underscore tab and pd dot read uh, this format. So if you, you can just go with this table and then you can be able to read it well. So let's call it as example file tab dot tst right. And it's going to read it perfectly for us. So if I go back with df tab dot head. It's going to work perfectly for us just like the csv so you can even use the csv to read a tab separated format but so that you're supposed to make you're supposed to give it a delimiter right you're supposed to give it a delimiter delimiter or a separator okay so now let's see how to read the next file format so the next file format we want to read is an sl file so how do you read an sl file because we still can use the pandas to read it so df sl then we're going to call it as pd.read sl right we're going to read our file so the name of our file is going to be example file what's the name of our file example file excel so example file excel right perfect so now the file is going to be read perfectly without any issues so in case it's having like sheets several sheets then you're going to put the sheets a sheet number that you want to read it from so df underscore excel dot let's call it till right for this one let's call it till perfect so it's reading it perfectly for us that's one of the ways of reading it now let's see how to read a file that is within a zip file right to that is within a zip file so to read it you first need to import you first need to use pip install cz file to be able to install it so that is how to install this file right so now let's see how to read that so import the file as zp or zp then you create an archive so a r l c h or you can make it archive depending on anyhow you want then we call it as zip zp for the zip file then zip then file see this one is supposed to be capital otherwise it's not going to work then you're going to put in our file so the name of our file is example file dot zip right and then we'll give us the mode that we want to read it you want to read it in a read mode perfect so it's going to be stored inside this archive and if you want to read it i'll put as df dev underscore zip then i'm going to call it as air archive then dot read so inside this file i have the same file there called example file.zip.csv rather 
so it's going to read it perfectly for us now everything this side is re perfectly read so if i print this it's going to take some time and it's going to read it perfectly for us so the best way is to extract it and then you work with it but it's going to give us our file format okay perfect see so that it is reading it well in a different format now let's see again some of the files that we can also read okay so first of all let's see how to read a test file so how do we read a test file to read a test file it's just simple it comes without importing of anything you can just read it well so t tst file and i'm going to read it with open then the name of the file so the name of the file is example sample file okay dot tst i hope it's the same file mm -hmm. okay yeah so if i do it like that it's perfect so you can even put the mode like in most cases then if i go back to tst underscore file dot read it's going to read it perfect 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 right hello world this is a test file this is a test so now let's move on to the next file format so the next file format is json how do you read a json so there are several ways of reading json you can use you can import json itself to read it or you can use the pandas so let's try with the pandas first of all so the file format the file should be very well aligned so i think my file is here this is my json file right so i want to read this json file this is not the json file <laughs> this rather is the json file this is the json file so I want to read this file. So how do I do that with pandas? So to do that, you can just go with this. This is the form pandas format, right? Pandas format. So it's going to be so df json is going to be what? PD for pandas, then read underscore json. Then the name of the file that we want to read. So my valid json. Valid JSON file. So if the file is not in a valid JSON, to to give give you errors. So it's supposed to be in a valid JSON file. Then df JSON. So if I go because a valid JSON file, if I do it like this, it's going to perfectly print it like a JSON for us perfectly. So so that's the name of the file for us. You can even check for the columns that you have. Then it's going to give us. Let's give us perfectly for this as columns. Okay. So that is one way of reading it. It's another way of reading it when you have a JSON format using the JSON instead of using the, the pandas, right? So to do that, it's going to be like this. So wait, then open. We're going to open the file. It's going to be my valid JSON file. And then we're going to give it a mode. So the name of the mode is RP read as JSD, right? For JSON, JSON file, JSON data, then DF json data it's going to be json the one we put it then load to be able to load it we're going to pass in our jst because we stored everything inside the jst then we're going to print if you print it like this so df underscore json data is going to read it perfectly for us so that is one one way of reading it so if i go with df json data see that it's printing it perfectly for us so that's one of the ways of reading a json file so now let's see how to read our next our next file format that is an etml so there are several ways of reading an etml we can use also we can also use pandas right we can also use pandas to be able to read it so first of all let's see how to use pandas to read it so there are two main methods for example if i have a url like this which is this url and i want to read this etml from there it is quite simple to do that it's going to be like this with the pandas so this is pandas it's going to be df.html1 or html file then it's going to be pd.read html we're going to pass in our url so url and it's going to read it perfectly for us it's going to go to this url and then pick the table there right perfect that's one method of reading it so if i go with df html after this Perfect. so that it's reading it perfectly for us which is quite useful so that's one of the ways of reading our etml file so another method of reading it is that in case you have the etml file in a file itself right not inside 
a file itself not inside something so we can read it in this way so i have this html file here so once you see that this is a table that i have right i have this table and i want to read this table here so how do i do that perfect i'm going to just go with this info so df html table let's call it the table then pd.read html i'm going to pass in our example so example what's the name of it example html example html html dot html so to, so so much are you going to pick the html within it the table within it without any long process so let's see how to do that this goes off so df html tab perfect so now it's reading perfectly for us so that's one of the ways of reading it reading a table right perfect so let's see the type of it if you know the type we can see what you can do with this file that you are trying to open it's a list so this is a list format so you read it like how you read a list perfect so now let's see the next thing that we can do so how do you read our next file format if the file format is inside an HTML without using the pandas, we can use a beautiful soup. So it's quite simple. So we're going to be import URL lib dot request for our URL, then import lsml, then we're going to import so from ps4 import beautiful soup, beautiful soup, right? So that's one of the ways of reading it. Now I'm going to give it our URL one, which is going to be whatever URL that you have. So let's give it this our same URL that you had for the data set here. This is the, the URL that we are using. We are calling it URL one. And then now we want to read a table from it. So today it's going to be simple. It's going to be like page. It's going to URL because this is Python 3, we just don't use URL lib to use URL lib request. So request but URL open, just call it. Then we pass in our URL one. Perfect. Now we're going to use soup to open it. So this one can be anything anyway. So beautiful. So this beautiful soup is the one we imported. Then I'm going to pass in our page and then our LSM, our light SML. Perfect. Now it's working well. So if you want to read anything there, it's going to be quite simple. So soup dot let's say title. Perfect. So it's reading it well. So soup dot table. Hope there's a table inside. Mm, I don't know whether there's a table inside, but if there's a table inside, it's just going to pick it for us. So that's one of the ways of reading it. Now let's see how to read an SML file. So here yeah, there's a table, it has picked the table perfectly for us. Nice. So now let's see how to read an SML file. So an SML is just like an ECL, but it's an extent. It's a different format altogether. So now to read it, you just go with import SML. And then we are going to use this format of tree. It can be anything. Then we're going to use this ET which we imported and stored this as, as ET. Then we're going to pass our SML file. So the name of our SML file was example file.sml. So we are passing it. And after passing it, you can just call it as base root. Then it's going to be tree.get root. Then we can apply all the functions that you want to to read it. So root dot tab. If we do something like that, it's going to read the tab response. So there are several things you can do. If I check it base root dot yeah. So there are several things you can do. You can check all these functions perfectly. And even check for the tail, the size, find, and all these things you can do with this format. Okay. And let's see how to read our last but one file that is 
a docs file so how do you read the docs file you just need to pop so pip install docs to tst so to do that in this you just go with the exclamation sign it's going to install it for us that's one way of installing it so after installing it you just go with import docs to test so that then to read it with a file we're going to call it dos to test dot process to process it we're going to give us the name of our file so example file so that's the name of our file perfect see that is reading perfectly for us so that's one of the ways of reading a docs file or document file so now let's see how to read an hdf5 file which is hierarchy uh, data format so the current one is h5 so to do that you can just use uh, pip install that is here pip install install dust so you can use pandas to read it or you can use also dust to read it so dust is for distributed computing just like pandas but it's for more distributed computing so that is one way of reading of installing it so we go with import dust dot data frame as dd right then you'll be able to import it as dd then you try and read our file so there are several files that we have here so there are several files that we have inside this folder so we have all these h5 files so if you want to read it you can use that to read it simultaneously with all these files together okay so but you're reading only one of them okay so let's see how to read it so we're going to call it df h5 right then we're going to go with dd dot the dd that we stored here dot read each df then it's going to go with this format of we're going to put inside our file so the name of our file was example uh, test example file dot h5 right so then you are supposed to give it a key so if you don't know the key you can just go with key then you store you give it as a stereo that is going to read any kind of file inside right that is how to read it so perfect now to see whatever is there you can just check it h5 and you see that it's reading it perfectly for us like it would have read a normal data frame so now it's now a data frame so if you check for the type of it so type it's going to tell us that it's a that's data frame dot call data frame so you can work with it like how you work with data frame so let's see whether we can do that so df h5 dot head perfect so that's working perfectly okay that is that is that's for you that is one of the ways of reading etf5 file you can also use pandas to read it but it's preferable to use that because of how the format is okay now let's move on to the next file that is the last file that is reading rdf file so rdf is for resource descriptive file right so to install it just go with pip install rdf lib and let's see how to read an rdf file to read it is going to be like from rdf lib dot graph import graph right that's what we're doing so we're going to import it and then after importing it you're going to store initialize it as g graph and then you move on to the next one which is going to be we are going to pass it so it's going to be pass so the rdf file is this file this format of file right this rdf here so it's going to be this to pass the name of the file which was example file dot rdf perfect so we are not going to give it any format then you save it then we go with so for uh, for s in g print s it's going to print everything there perfectly so yeah several things you can do with it so this is just a basis about how to read an rtf file several things it's going to give us the metadata of the file itself perfect so that is one way of reading it so thank you for watching if you have any questions or contribution can just put inside the comment section so that everybody can benefit and please don't forget to subscribe stay stay tuned for the next one on julia stay blessed